you know, I definitely, definitely want to be the, the highest, highest drummer that there's ever been for sure. As if it were the most natural thing in the world. Playful and easy. The running, the jumping, the flying through the air, the strength and the technique that it requires. It's a combination of all the athletics events almost into this one really unique, fun, exhilarating event. I can't explain why you, you love something so much, you kind of just love it. I don't know, it's, it, maybe it's just sports also itself. When you, when you really find, get in love with a sport, you kind of just keep falling more and more because you just want to keep getting better at it because no matter how good you are, there's always just room to get better. So I think that keeps me coming back for more. His father, Greg Duplantis, has also been his coach ever since he was little. In the beginning, everything is just a game, a game you start playing early on. Pretty early, really. Yeah, he doesn't remember, but he would, he would jump with broomsticks on the, on the couch. He clearly had this really strong aptitude for the event, but he's really athletic. I mean, he can, he can do lots of stuff. He played baseball and uh, soccer, football, as y'all call it. But he was really small when he was younger, really small. Small and skinny and weak. I mean, I was so light that you couldn't find a pole for me to, for me to bend, except when I turned seven years old, I uh, got UCS Spirit to, to make me some special poles that I can bend because I kept going in the backyard and watching my brothers jump or some of my brother's friends that would come over and come jump, and they would, um, yeah, and they would bend the pole. And so I thought I, I, was like, I wanted to bend the pole because everybody else has been in the pole. So then we got these special poles made, and uh, yeah, then ever since then, since I was seven years old, I've been bending, which is, I would say, probably the youngest anybody ever started been in the pole because you don't find too many seven-year-olds, seven-year-olds that have been in the pole pole watching. Their pole vault pit in the garden. That was essential for Mondo's progress. It was something that I just had ever since I was a young kid, was just the entire pole vault setup. And uh, I, I never knew what it was like to have anything different. So for me, it was kind of just normal, you know, coming home from school and going straight in my, in my school clothes and just taking a couple of jumps in my backyard. It was just, it was a normal day for me. It was just like just kicking the football around. It was nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, which is, I think, is a little unique compared to you know your average kid. But I think that's why I'm here today. I think it's pretty much everything. You know, I I, I fell in love with the sport at such a young age, and I uh, I got pretty good at it at a very young age. Before I was fast and strong and anything. When I started getting faster and taller and stronger, then I just started going skyrocketing in the in the air. Mondo Duplantis keeps setting new world records in his age group, year after year. Yeah, I think he was born to pole vault. And, and, uh, and he's lucky that he's got a body for it too. He's got a really good physique for pole vaulting. But yeah, he, at a, at, when he was, it was pretty clear when he was seven years old that he could really do the event. Like it was just easy for him. It's always been so easy. He's certainly a natural at it. Really proud. I mean, uh, you know, proud that, uh, that he found something that he's really good at and he loves it and he, he's doing it the right way. I think, um, you know, he's going about it in the, in the, right, the right way and, you know, uh, yeah, couldn't be more proud of him. Clermont-Ferrand, France, in July 2019. 
Olympic champion and world record holder Renaud Lavillenie's hometown. When I was 10, 11, 12, Renaud was, he was the, the man of pole vaulting. When, ever, when anybody thought of pole vaulting, you would think of Renaud. And so, you know, growing, growing up in the sport, he was, he was my idol. He was who I looked up to, he was who I wanted to, to be like when I was older. I think I met him the first time when I was 13 years old at this competition, and I was just this fan and just wanted to take a picture with him, get an autograph and stuff like that. And I competed against him for the first time in 2017 when I was 17 years old. Me and Renault have developed this friendship over the years to where uh, I, I think he, he's kind of like a mentor to me and he looks at me maybe a little bit like his uh, apprentice. And so I think we do a lot of things very similar. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I would, I, I hope to become the next Renault. That would, <laughs> that would be cool with me. He is running fast, he is able to, to take very uh, strong pole. He knows how to pole vault uh, since a long time ago. He has good feeling on the pole, which is really interesting uh, when you want to, to jump high. I'm feeling comfortable with that because uh, I like to share, uh, to share things. And uh, the fact is, I'm learning from what he's doing also. Weltklasse Zurich IAAF Diamond League Final. Mondo's first appearance in Zurich. I heard it's one of the best meets I'll ever compete in. And I'm more than excited to you know, be able to compete in Zurich. You know, there's, there's a lot on the line. It's the Diamond League Final. It's, you know, one of the biggest meets of the entire year. It's the prelims for the for the World Championships, which I think is a very good way to put it. Everybody's gonna take it, take it like it's a World Championship meet, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of high energy and a lot of pressure. It's gonna be a great meet, I'm excited to compete there. Greg Duplantis has fond memories of Weltklasse Zurich. He competed at Letzigrun Stadium 20 years ago. Zurich was thought of as the best, the premier meet of all the Diamond League meets. You know, and still is obviously. That was always, that was always the, the top meet and everyone got excited for it. You know, and it's a great venue, great crowd, really cool city. I'm really looking forward to Mondo being there. Mondo Duplantis is one of the world's best pole vaulters at only 19. Last year, he claimed the European title in a new personal best. Is this just the beginning? Yeah, I hope so. You know, I mean, I, ho I hope my, my PR doesn't end when I'm 18 years old. You know, I, I hope to jump, I don't. <laughs> I hope to jump higher than it, but uh, yeah, 6.05 is a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good mark. I'm improving, you know, which is always the goal. No matter what you jump, you know, as long as I'm, I'm improving, then I think that's a, a job, job well done. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to think there's a limit, no, <laughs> you know, I guess the, the sky's the limit, and, um, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know exact, exactly how high I want to jump in my career, but, you know, I definitely, definitely want to be the, the highest Highest jumper that there's ever been, for sure. Mondo Duplantis is athletics world class.